the weekly breakdown. Yo. <laughs> I look like an idiot. <laughs> That's fine. Number 155, the one where Keith is a jackass. Just a laugh after, you're like, yo. <laughs> yo <hurry up. laughs> you graduate, and you? Then, you look, graduate. then you try to look all hard ass over here. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Ass of stone. I like this for a while. Yeah. I'll take the head off eventually. Vibranium ass. Ooh. That's how hard it is. Yeah. I'll get tired of the head eventually, and I'll take it off. But It looks better on you backwards and forwards. I'll okay. Say that. Okay. What if I what if I do the whole the stupid just right? <laughs> you actually like be going like fishing. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm all about that. Let's like what's that? What's that? Uh, Ginger from the Andy Griffith show. Oh, uh, I know who you're talking about. Ron Howard. His, char- his character's name in the show. Carrot top. I can't remember. I, I don't remember either. Tomato Car- bottom. Carrot Tomato bottom. Tomato bottom. <laughs> Carrot bottom. <laughs> Yo, it's storming like a motherfucker, apparently. Yeah. Put you your know hat what? on. Don't get your head wet. No, I don't want to get my head wet. Hey, <laughs> if the electricity goes out, the video must keep going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, It'd be really funny. Well, yeah. It'd be really funny if the lights go out and then we just keep talking. It should theoretically keep going because that would then, like, I just wouldn't be charging anymore. Yeah. Maybe it would fuck up my computer, I don't know. But it would, uh, who knows? Now you nah. should be fine. Ben we, Franklin we can thought of that when he yeah. invented electricity. We can pull our wieners out because <laughs> then it would be dark. Nobody would know. Yeah, exactly. A slap fight. Exactly. <laughs> um, there's a whole lot of like E3 goodness going on. E3 is less than a month away. Actually, it's a month away from today. Yep. It would it would be underway by this point in a month. Also, technic I guess also technically it is a month May. a month in the sense it's that May. EA goes on Saturday. Yes. So. Yep. Yep, and uh, so naturally we're starting to get some some news there. We got some conference news on Square Enix and PlayStation, but then there there's apparently a massive leak of what may or may not exist that we'll go through. It'll be fun. Uh, not really going to be making any raw predictions right now. Just nah. more because talking it, about what's happening. Because everything will get announced. So most things will get announced yeah. in the next three weeks. Yeah. So. Also, Nintendo announced their online plans for the Switch that we'll talk about, and then there's also some fun music news to to go over later. Yeah. Let's dive into it. Walmart Canada might have fucked up big, big time. time. On Jinx. some stuff. <clears throat> Basically, so. they had some some <clears throat> skews open to pre-order, or eventually they were getting it in their system, maybe. But it went live, and everybody saw it. And there's a lot here. Um, and this is more getting ready for like pre-order stuff. But you maybe they're just be preparing. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but some of the stuff might actually be E3 announcements. Some might not. Start off. Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Yes. Okay, E3 that. announcement. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and I think it would it would make sense. And uh, Two, I feel like with some of these, they're still so far away that it would be like, they are they might be going live, but to pre-order, like, what? Like, we still might not know what they are. You're pre-ordering nothing at this are. point. You're pre-ordering nothing. Yeah. yeah. Splinter Cell. I think. I Splinter think so. Cell, I think, is a sure bet to be I think E3. It's, I think it's a sure bet as well. <laughs> yes, so that, that with, makes sense. With, especially with, with how apparently popular uh, Sam Fisher in the Ghost Recon thing is, apparently, you know, mm-hmm. they'd be dumb to not... I have not played that yet. Did you play that mission? No, I haven't touched that game in a while. Yeah, me either. I haven't played in a few weeks. Um, Insurgency Sandstorm? I don't know what that is. That's, um... If I'm not mistaken, it was this game that started out as this very... If I'm thinking of the right game, disclaimer. There's this game that started out as this very realistic first-person shooter. Like, it aimed to be very, very realistic. But then over the course of the development, it's basically gone to, like, this much lesser version, not realistic, just kind of blends in with the crowd yeah, sort okay. of thing. Uh, from what I've heard, or at least that maybe that's just the campaign. I read something about it a while ago. I think that's the game. But it's a shooter. I mean, it sounds like. With the, with the name yeah. kind of insurgents, it sounds very yeah. war and... Sandstorm. Sandstorm. 
The sand rude storm. sand blast. The rude sandstorm. Mm-hmm. Sand blast. The Last of Us <gasps> Two. That, I mean, I think that's been confirmed that it's going to be at E3. Yeah, we'll talk somewhere. about that later. Yeah. yeah. Um, Just Cause Four. This is brand new. That one is new. I. I can see it happening. I, I could see it, especially with the other bit of news that again we will get to yeah. here after a bit. I could see it happening. However, I feel like it's not, it's not ju- coming out anytime soon. I don't think. I, yeah, I don't think it'll be out this year for sure. But I also felt like Just Cause Three was a fart in the wind. Like, yeah, I really don't it care came about out. Just Cause yeah, it came out at a bad time, but I feel like critically it wasn't like as well praised as Just Cause Two. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, Destiny Comet. We're getting something for Destiny this fall. Activision already said that. Yeah. And we'll learn more about this groundbreaking new mode that they'll have at Comet. E3. But Comet, yeah. that's, that, that's that was the that was the name. But I, th- I think that's just code their. Name, right? I think, I, but I think that's their their usual code name yeah. for this thing. Because when I was second, Comet was what Taken King was first called too. So if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Plus, Comet's not serious enough to be a Destiny title. Yeah, it's not. Let's Super just, dark and you know. Yeah. Uh, f- <laughs> this one is one I just think so crazy. Final Fantasy VII remake. No, it, especially with the news that they had to restart on that. Yeah. No. no. Great. Be- that, that that game might be closer to coming out like now. It might actually seriously be underway. Yeah. If some of the reports are to be heard, but no, you not might- until like 2020 at the minimum, and that's even like pushing. When we have President Kanye. President Kanye. President Kanye with the slogan "Poopity Scoop." Yeah. scoop a dee whoop dee poop <laughs> Yeah, that one certainly is like pre-ordering a lot of fluff, to be honest with you. Metroid Prime. I think that could maybe be an E3. Yeah. To me, the, the thing that I hope this is, is if it's a real thing, is I actually hope it's a trilogy remaster for Switch. That'd be I think they good. have to do it. I mean, the only way you can play those games is on GameCube and Wii, and... You know, there might have been a large. There's a large audience that did not play those games that might be interested in Prime Four. Um, so I think it would just make sense to remaster them, maybe update the graphics some, and then obviously make them with modern controls. Yeah. You know what I mean? With a controller. Oh, sorry. That makes sense. I hope that's what that is. Beyond Good and Evil Two. I mean, that is going to be at E3. I think it will be. I yeah. mean, yeah, it's not coming out. Exactly. It's going to be like how Kingdom Hearts 3 has been available for pre-order. pre-order it. Yeah, it's just that yeah. the game doesn't exist. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, may, it could, who knows, who knows? It could never exist. Yeah. And then there goes your fucking money. Final yeah. Fantasy VII Remake and Beyond Good and Evil 2. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Yeah, <laughs> um, this one is, at, as of now, based off of what is happening, been happening, a sure bet, Rage 2. Yeah. Bethesda's just fucking with everybody, and apparently they might actually reveal the game this week. Yeah, this coming week. So that makes sense. That that me, whole that honestly. whole like the thing on Twitter is like one of my favorite it's things awesome. to happen this week. Yeah, yeah. This is why we can't have nice things. I know. It's first thing. It's first thing in a long time that I've heard Pete Pete Hyde said, and I'm like, you know what? You're not half bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's he an interesting guy. <laughs> um, and Pete, then what I he ain't no Todd Howard. I don't know. No one's Todd Howard. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it more when we do our actual predictions, but when Rage 2 came up, I was like, yeah, like, that makes sense. I can see them announcing that at a E3 press conference. I don't think it's big enough to just carry the conference by itself. No, I think So they have things. to have some other stuff. I definitely for sure. think there's rumored new IP. At the but, but Rage 2 is certainly a really good game to throw out there, because Rage is apparently... I never played it. I've always been interested in it. Like, it's good, um, but Bethesda wanted it to be so much more, and they spent so much money on, like, technology and, and everything with John Carmack getting all this shit right. And, um, so it, it's good that they're at least returning to that IP, I guess. And, and hopefully it's made by id, which, if it is made by id, I think that throws Doom 2 predictions out the fucking window. Um, it, it, to is me, it, is it like a shooter or something? Yeah, first person oh, okay. shooter. So it's gonna, it's, probably a, it's be a first a... person shooter, but there was like, um, it was like almost Mad Max in a way. Like there, you could get into like car combat. That's like third person at some point. I it think so it's, I, I mean, it's going to be like in the Doom Wolfenstein two yeah. style look mm-hmm. game. Okay, yeah. 
I, I, rage. Yeah, that might throw Doom 2 underneath the bus. I mean, granted, they could potentially be... But it, I mean, it, the last game it worked on was Doom. They could Quake, almost... Quake Champions. Quake, right. Okay, right. I forget. That didn't come to which console. Who, I don't count which, that. Yeah. <clears throat> I, and I feel like that hasn't made a massive hit, so who knows how many how much resources is actually on that game. Man, so... I don't know. I could still maybe see like announcing Doom Two, maybe. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Bethesda isn't usually big on announcing games super far ahead of time, but yeah, I think it's possible. You know, you know it is yeah. a massive game. The division, the division. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I started there. <laughs> Fuck um, this next one, I'm confused by um, Assassin's Creed. I don't think so, and I, I feel think, like this I is think just a, a dumb idea. And that's yeah, because like. I don't think it's. I don't think they're doing it this year, and and it's <laughs> definitely not a new game. And I feel like remastering the first Assassin's Creed is just a waste of time. They so wouldn't. Not that they wouldn't be announcing any kind of big they, new well, expansion I, thing to it, would they? Like I, year I two, maybe because they're just doing year two with uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Right. I, but maybe I don't know. I could maybe see like on the on the thing of the first Assassin's Creed. I could maybe mm. see if like they did like, even though they, like almost like a Ratchet and Clank style thing where it's like. Let's just make this game better. Same kind of game. Let's just actually, like, you know, make it good. Use the kind of stuff that we've learned over time and mm -hmm. make it a good game. That could maybe work. Because the first Assassin's Creed lore-wise <laughs> and, like, stuff is, like, super interesting. Yeah. Just that I've never played it because hearing from you and a bunch of other people, I'm like, mm, apparently that game's not good. So I'm like... Mm. I mean, at the time, it was fucking revolutionary because there was nothing like it. But when you look at what Assassin's Creed evolved to, especially two years after with 2... It's like it's not really worth your time because all that's all that there is is you assassinating nine targets and that's it. Mm. Like that, that's that whole game. There's no missions, nothing. Oh, okay. I mean, that's Isn't pretty that much a quick all it game? is. Sort of, yeah. Mm. And there's a lot of like open world, like I don't like, say like there's stuff. no other extra missions. Like it's just like you can just yeah. There's and... not a whole lot of extra stuff, and there's like collectibles. In a, of course, I'm just <laughs> yeah. So, I, I think these next two games are the most unlikely games on this list. Definitely not happening is NBA 2K19 and WWE 2K19. Those are going to be games, man. I don't, I don't think so, dude. I think they might. They're going to end the franchise? Yeah. I think it's going to be a few <laughs> years before we get them. Eh. <laughs> um, Dragon yeah, the, Quest 2. 2K19 is not going to come out until 2020. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dragon Quest 2. Which that could be the a quest thing. for more dragons? I don't know if they would actually remake Dragon Quest Two. What I think this probably is is Dragon Quest Builders Two. Probably. Super Smash Brothers. Dull. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the one. Everybody's like, "Oh, dude, Rage 2. Hell yeah! This is the one on the list that I'm going hell yeah for. Imagine. Borderlands fucking three. Borderlands three. Borderlands 3 is happening. Though. Borderlands 3 is going to be at E3. Oh, yeah. That's, it's happening. 100%. I also... Okay, well... And I am... My body is ready for more Borderlands. Lego DC Villains. I think that one's been rumored. That one's Makes been rumored. Sense. But... I think I think it'll happen. I don't know if, it, I don't know if that's an E3 game. Did they, did they show... <clears throat> no, they showed 3 at E3, didn't they? They showed... Lego... <sighs> yeah, that case. I think so it's usually not. at E3. I don't think... I don't remember them ever being on a stage, but yeah. I could see them announcing maybe the week before E3. Yeah, that's, okay. Yeah, I'll retract my I statement. We'll see. Uh, dreams. Yeah, probably. No shit. In your dreams. That game's never coming out. How about Forza Horizons 5? What? The, uh, that's, Just that's, skipping that, 4. That, that's where I look. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, <laughs> why 5? <laughs> Just what? totally skipping 4. Um, I don't feel 1. They, uh... I always forget their fucking name. Who makes those games? I should know by now. Playground. Playground. They they have like the like how Valve is afraid of the number three. They're afraid of the number mm. four. They're just like, nope, I'm not doing it. Yeah. What will be interesting is Microsoft's afraid of nine. The next fours of no in two years or the let me back up <laughs> in two entries it'll be Forza Motorsport nine. Do they skip nine? Who knows? Sports, 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 um, and well, then Apple. we'll probably name it. They could name it after like the anniversary of it, like mm -hmm. Madden. I forget which year it was, but if it randomly came Madden twenty five because the twenty fifth anniversary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sports and motorsport car. Then the last one on this list, <laughs> which I think you and I disagree on if this is happening. 
<clears throat> Gears of War 5. I think it could happen. You've said that it's going to happen. I, I I think it's a Halo year, so I don't, I don't think I think it's, it's a both year. <laughs> Maybe. It, or at least announced. I just think... I, think it's, I don't think they're going to come out in the same year. No, because that's dumb. Especially for, yeah. the, for the number of exclusives that we know that Microsoft has at this point. That's dumb. But I think they could easily, like, maybe, you know, do, like, announce that Gears 5... I, I, think, I think you could announce both of them. So, hmm. They're kind of at that point where they need to... They need people to, in a sense, like, invest in them. Just say, like, here's this. Even if it's not coming out now, it's still just to get us back mm-hmm. some 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 eyes. And just like and, and, and I will give Microsoft the pass for my usual like I don't like seeing games at more than two E threes thing for the most part. There's I mean some games you see forever like Sea of Thieves you see forever. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. You Same see game. Kingdom Hearts three you see forever. Actually, technically Kingdom Hearts three has only really been at two, <clears throat> but like you know that's shit. But, I mean, also, that's probably, I mean, that's highly likely. But I think that, yeah, I think that you can maybe see it and then have Gears 5 not come out until, like, mm-hmm. 2020. I mean, they, they probably see, like, what PlayStation's done, like, certain games in the past couple of years have been at, like, multiple E3s. And I'm like, okay, they did it. They're doing something right. Like, it's okay. Like, people, people are not don't yeah. love it but it's like they've tolerated so it's like yeah you know well Microsoft oh, oh. needs hype yeah so like boom or or Absolutely. even or even the reverse announce both mm-hmm. Halo's a bigger series than Gears put or Gears out first neither. and then or or just be like hey you know what fuck these do Microsoft Direct yeah Microsoft <clears throat> I, but I, I still have hope I think because I, I think it's been long enough and I'd be <clears throat> very excited I mean Gears of War 4 is a great fucking game that I have not played enough yeah. It's a very underrated game of this generation. I me. wanted to play it. But it was a, like almost like, 100 games. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, that's, that quite, that's not quite as big as Elder Scrolls Online, I think. Like with all the expansions. It's not as big as Master Chief Collection either. <laughs> Master Chief it's Collection is huge. Like yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, I is mean. Is like your name is in the sex dungeon? Yeah. Call me Master Queef. We got a few weeks still until <laughs> E3. With me, Daddy. <laughs> A lot of these things are going to leak, you know, even more, or just straight up be announced. So we'll see. The fucking Walmart, man. What cocksuckers. Yeah, fuck Walmart. Moving on. (laughs) Get the last word. Yeah, fuck Walmart. (laughs) They haven't done one in in a a few years, but Square Enix is going to have an E3 conference. Again, huh. yeah. So I mean, June eleventh, which Raider. is Monday, at one p.m. Eastern. Tomb Raider, Just Cause Four, Kingdom Hearts Three. Does Star Ocean come out when they announced yeah, it in twenty fifteen? Okay, um, they'll probably show off Final Fantasy Seven. I mean, they'll, or they'll be like, "Here, look, it's still a thing. Don't worry." And then I honestly, even guess like, well, never mind. That's me being hopeful. I was gonna say Hitman. Mm-hmm. Like a season two of Hitman, since you know you you have the well, platform. No, but... they don't own Hitman anymore. Remember? They, right. They okay. sold IO and gave them the the IP. Right. Never mind. Then. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> um. Maybe, maybe that Avengers game that Crystal is working so. on. I think I think it could be. I think you I think you do it just because of the hype around Avengers. That's right Square now. Enix. Yeah. Oh fuck. Crystal Dynamics. That's interesting. Tomb Raider. <laughs> but Kingdom Hearts Tomb Raider 100% locks the the one thing that I thought of is because they have been working on it for a little while Life is Strange 2 yeah I, I would say that, that that would be the avenue to announce the next yeah. Life is Strange so looking at Square Enix I'm like you have some shit to, to announce they're they're not really going to have a conference I'm going to back up on that they're doing a Nintendo Direct like video okay. that'll just go up on their YouTube at 10 was like 11 at 1 our time Eastern. One, one o'clock. Um, also, I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm just reading off of Game Informer's article. Cute. Apparently, there's been some rumors about an Xbox One version of Near Automata, which would be great, but I don't know if that's an E3 announcement. That could uh, be like a week before E3 announcement, or like, or like a short little trailer thing that they just throw in, like, hey, this is maybe. Coming. God, I would love a new Near game. <laughs> that's too, that's too early. Um, 
just trying to think of what else they might have, but I think those are. I mean, I, mean, I, I any, think any you kind of focus. Dragon Quest. Yeah, I mean, they have Dragon Quest Eleven, Not so like that Dragon makes Quest sense. Eleven, um, yeah. You uh, you focus on Tomb Raider and Kingdom Hearts Three. Those are your two big games. They're uh, probably coming out in the fall. Yeah, th- this is another thing, and this is the, this is just would be another project that Square Enix never puts out. I would love if they either did a new uh, <clears throat> Chrono like Trigger sequel, or they re put it out onto PS4 or mm-hmm. something with like improved graphics. Because mm-hmm. Chrono, I, I've never played them, but I. I've I've seen people like gameplay and stuff like that, and it, and it's like it's one of the best uh, turn based RPGs like ever, mm-hmm. and it's like really good. And also the art style kind of reminds me of like Dragon Ball Z, and I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. let's do this. Yeah. Uh, also, maybe Final Fantasy 15 DLC. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel almost new almost, expansions they have there. I would, I would feel almost completely likely that would be there. Yeah. So I mean, there's some there's some decent stuff that if they had like a 30 minute video. I, I'd be down. Yep. Um, it's cool, you know. I mean, that conference they did a few years ago. That thing was brutal to watch. Because I it, mean, it was what so they had dry. there was it was fine, but yes, it, it was, was so. Dry. It was just it, it, the pr- the presentation of everything. The only time that I was like, huh, was when Kingdom Hearts three came on. That's a combination of me being me, and also like, oh, this is actually like interesting stuff they're showing. Yeah. Otherwise. Yeah, I mean, it, it was could a very be cool. boring, boring thing. It was, it was all. I mean, also, I think it had to do with the setting. It was very much like in a conference room. Yeah. Like instead of having it in like a big amphitheater, like you know, normal, it was like maybe in one of the rooms that you watch, <laughs> you know, that you can at like PAX, yeah. where you can watch like a panel. Yep, it's more of a panel than a conference. Yep. So then, uh, moving on, we got details on PlayStation's conference this year. Um, they are going a very different route this year, sort of. They are going to be focusing... They're doing a very Nintendo-like thing. They're focusing on four games, at least first party. So they said here, um, in lieu of a traditional press conference, the publisher will instead focus on deep dives for four upcoming exclusives. <clears throat> Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us Part Two, Spider-Man, and Death Stranding. Okay. Layton also says that Sony will be announcing third-party uh, publishing partners as well as new indie titles. The publisher okay. will not be revealing any new hardware. So PlayStation 5 rumors. I mean, it was dumb anyway, but not I, happening. Also, I don't think... Next year, maybe. maybe next year, maybe likely, in, I think, yeah. Maybe, in, what, announce it next year and then it come out? Maybe. <laughs> 2020, maybe? Or? Maybe. Yeah. But, so I don't know if they're really doing like a... Like they they are doing a conference, and it is. But it seems it like is Monday at nine o'clock for us. But it seems like it's more. Uh, maybe maybe they maybe they listened to the fact that last year everybody was like, "There's like two new games here." Yeah, and and, and also like, I th- I think this could be honestly really fucking cool because you look at all four of those games, they're fucking huge games. Yeah, because well, maybe Ghost of Tsushima. We st- still have to see some, but at least Spider Man, Last of Us, and Death Stranding are fucking behemoths. You know. Yeah, and in, I think and I think Ghost of Tsushima is also could be good because I mean the Sucker Punch. Yeah, everybody loves. Yeah. Every, everybody loves <coughs> Sucker Punch, and it's just yeah. like I think I think the just the excitement of just the premise of that game, and also again the Sucker Punch name attached to it has. I think maybe <coughs> not as big, but that's all just from a lack of seeing anything yeah. I could you know depending on what I could see it warranting I also <laughs> I also think that they're doing this because maybe not only because of what happened last year if like we saw the same shit I mean it was cool don't get me wrong yeah. but it was like the same exact games it just you know some new things with them um, I think they're also doing this because I truly think these are probably the last four big exclusives for the PS4 you know, they they might be holding on until next year, maybe even twenty twenty, to announce. You know, these are the next big guns that we have, but these are like the last four like swan song games on PS four. Okay, I can see that. The, that. That's my thought, and um, yeah, interesting to me though uh, that they're not going to try to push Dreams at E three. Dreams is supposed to come out this year, but also Dreams is so weird. 
that maybe I don't, know if you, I don't know if you could push it. Like, it also I, makes sense to me that they're doing all this Game Informer stuff with Days Gone, because <laughs> now, um, <coughs> now that's not going to be there either. Um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm wondering what third party stuff they'll have. I mean, obviously, I think they'll probably have some Call of Duty Black Ops Four and Destiny, Destiny Two stuff. Spyro, um, maybe, maybe, maybe like a short little thing. Yeah, nothing too big. I mean, they have marketing for it, but I think it's not going to happen. Red Dead Two is is Spyro going to count as their remaster for this year? Yeah, yeah, probably. But it's also not exclusive. No, no. Shock the Colossus is their remaster for this year. Yeah, that came out this year, February. It did I mean for they announced one at like every E three? Oh, okay, then yeah, Spyro. Okay, I I wasn't the sure last you were couple asking. years at least. No, and yeah, then, ah. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like that game already fucking came out. Well, that's, that's what I thought you meant. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, it came out this year. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, what do you what do you guys think we're going to be seeing with all of these games? Like, do you when you when they say deep dive to me, that's gameplay. Yeah, I mean, hundred percent. Which is which is also just super strange to me with Death Stranding. I mean, granted, that game's just been an enigma for such a long time that, you know... It'd be cool to see wh- what that game actually is. I still don't know if that's the case. Like, I, I don't think they'll show gameplay. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the gameplay would be. I just... I don't know. It's just so far what we've seen from it. I just almost don't... Ex- I would almost be... Not disappointing to see gameplay, but I would just be like... Huh. Like... Everything about that game, it's so easy, I think, to be let down by that game's gameplay. Possibly. Yeah, probably. Like, if it's not... It's going to be weird. A lot of people are going to like it, but it's just going to be this make-or-break moment for a lot of people because all the hype is, like, all these interesting trailers and what the game could be. It's going to be very interesting if they have Mm -hmm. gameplay. That's really going to be tough, I think, for them to do, and they know that because they they have a lot going for the game right now. And but also, they kind of have to show gameplay at this point. Yeah, and especially if your your one thought, Tyler, is true about this being like the the, the last four things. <clears throat> Which, on that note too, yeah. then I'm like, how much of a deep dive do you do for Spider Man? Like you've already seen a pretty lengthy gameplay trailer that kind of gave you a good hint of what's happening in the game, and there's mm-hmm. already been all kinds of articles that talk about what's happening. And I think you just do something big. Yeah, some big and fun things blowing up to get people in the mood to be like, yeah, yeah Spider Man, just like that. Do you think they open with that? Is they open with Spider Man? I, w- I, w- I, I would think, think so. I think, strangely, they open with The Last of Us, too. I, I feel like that'd be yeah, I feel it. I feel like he closed with it. I feel like he closed I, with they, it. They open with that shit. That that just know, that gets yeah. everyone from the beginning. Well, well maybe you know, I say there. that because I just thought God, that's what they did with God of War. Mm-hmm. It hey, is what they did. I'm going to read this from the PlayStation blog. Maybe this is their order. Um, in a rare break from tradition, we wanted to give you an early glimpse at to what to expect heading into the showcase on June 11th. PlayStation's worldwide studios will be at E3 in full force. Okay, uh, worldwide to, to provide you with an exclusive look at four upcoming titles. That's Stranding from Kojima Productions. They could open with that too. Ghost that be of Tsushima. Uh huh. Marvel Spider Man. <clears throat> And The Last of Us Part 2. Okay. Maybe that's that their could, order. I can see that. The Last of Us Part 2 is either first or last. You don't put it in the middle. Yeah, like that's, that game's not, not, that's, that's not a middle not game. A middle game. Yeah. Also, I just had a thought, too, about this, which is this is just something that we not to worry about. What the fuck are we going to do for predictions? If, if they're basically like, I this know. is what we're showing. Yeah, it's it's kind of gotten to that point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would have to be like... You know, specific details on something yeah. or uh, yeah. release date, release or window. window. Yeah, also, I mean, that. they're going to have third party stuff, so you could yeah, go okay, with that yeah, too. Yeah. We'll have um, to make something that's like what we're most looking forward to from E3 because I guess we know a lot of what's there. I think there's still point. a lot that's like a little, little I, left open, but. Part of me really wants to see something, even if it's just like small, even if it's just like the title screen from the next Dragon Age would be cool. But something small, just like, yeah, this is going to be a thing. You're going to see it next year. But, That's EA. They're going to cancel it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck EA. Um, it's okay, though. They're going to announce like... that Anthem's being pushed back 
I would be, I would be happy. I would be happy about that. I, I would too. <laughs> EA, EA said an investors call that it's on track for this fiscal year. Yeah, which is March. They say some shit. Um, yeah. it's, it's gonna get the <laughs> I think I think Sony either ends with The Last of Us Part Two or Spider Man. I mean, yeah, those are the two games. Those are the two biggest yeah. games. I don't think Death Stranding is like an end on a game because it'll leave people feeling yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. And we agree now. Yeah. Opening yeah. with Death Stranding is a pretty good move because yeah. even if it's like if it doesn't hit. But you still you can go up from there. Yeah. You got a lot of I feel like content putting, putting Ghost of Tsushima second is I great too. Had a fucking argument with two people that I work with. They just finished God of War. Oh and God. they were like, Oh, all those realms that you can't go to, DLC. I'm like, no. No, no DLC. Way. Corey Corey, I agree, Corey um Barlog. I, I keep wanting he to say Balrog. Not DLC. Corey Barlog Corey Barlog was like he already has ideas for the next like five God of yeah, War games, and exactly. it's like this story is going to be a trilogy. Yeah, also, like you said, also yeah, the next one. So I'm like, you is... can't put Odin in the first fucking game, dude. No. Yeah, yeah. It, I see. Mean, I didn't. Said. When I said that before, because I, I had said that. Oh yeah, like not. I, I I threw out the idea of like a of an Uncharted Lost Legacy style thing for like God of War Ragnarok or whatever you want to call it. Or but well, that's uh, going to be like the end. That's, well, that's, probably gonna, that's probably going to get That's the into. story of Balder. Yeah. Balder, when Balder gets killed, that leads to Ragnarok. It's the first step in Norse yeah, mythology. So, yeah, so, I mean, but yeah. I, I mean, like that we all finished the game now I that I can say that. <laughs> I think Fuck we've yeah. all actually talked about it. We've, this is the yeah, first time know, we've all been I together. Know, know. So, <laughs> but, yeah. but um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I saw the thing. I was like, God of War 5 is Doris. I'm like, awesome. Yeah. And, and then, oh, I also, I saw, that they, I, I saw that they basically, maybe somewhat, Confirmed what the other mythologies they go to is Egypt. Egyptian, Celtic, yep. and uh, Japanese. Celtic could be cool. Japanese Celtic Celtic gets extra weird because you're getting really close to Christianity. Then it's like yeah, oh, it's Jap- <laughs> Jap- yeah Kratos kills Jesus. Um, well, Celtic is a lot different. Than well, yeah, it's like, but, but, but it's like also super. That's, yeah, that's kind of um, like what happened after the, the if they went Christian to like, showed up in the Norse. If they went to like Japanese, they would have to come up with like a new character. It would be. I just feel like Kratos is would be weird for that. Yeah, well, it's, it. Well, I also think Kratos isn't good enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. We, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's we, that's cool stuff. But what he said about about this game in all right spoilers if you have not finished God of War. You should have skip out. ahead for for just a couple of minutes. <laughs> um, what I read he because he went around and did some spoiler cast with some people and i was listening to kind of funnies which is fucking fascinating to listen to and okay. basically what he said is they were writing the game to have thor mm. and odin and asgard and, and, yeah and all this stuff but they realized that one it was way too much yeah. and two they were writing a second game yeah. and three it which i think just makes this game even better they um it having thor and odin in asgard and all those things took away from what they wanted to tell in this first game, which is the relationship and the story and the journey between Kratos and, and Atreus. Yeah, yeah. And it totally took away from it. So that's why that's why they only did Balder and Freya pretty much. And they yeah. kind of hinted at everything else. And, and that's also like why a lot you know? of stuff with Mimir happens is like all these little stories which yeah, super interesting. Did you guys do the ending? Like the end, yeah. ending? Yeah, yeah. With, I have with, not. I have. Heard about Thor. I mean, yeah. I don't understand. Well, here's that. well here's the thing. It, it, it does it doesn't change anything. You can keep playing the game after you do the end. Yeah, like just, well. I don't understand that because it says years later. But I think it's at, when, at the point when Kratos and Atreus get back. <coughs> like in Norse mythology, Fimble Winter started like three winters in a row, and that's Ragnarok. Mm-hmm. So years later, it's probably three. Thor dies in Ragnarok fighting well, well, Jormungandr. Well, well, I think it's it's not. It's like. Ragnarok is starting to happen. It's what I interpret. I, I, it was weird. I just didn't know how like Thor randomly showed up. It was like years later. I think it's. I think it's. Yeah. I think it's prophetic on like a trace. Like he doesn't know. Like he just sees himself as he is, and it's yeah. like oh, so who knows how this happens? But oh, also, that was like a dream. Yeah, it was like a dream. Something? But, okay, mm-hmm. never mind. Also, wasn't on the mural at the end um, the one that was kind of covered by cloth that yeah plot, wasn't that. Um, Kratos giving birth to the world serpent. That was or someone a, killing Kratos. That, 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 that was, was that was that, uh, that was Atreus. Maybe that, maybe not. I th- it, I, it was it, it was, was Atreus and Kratos, but it wasn't clear what exactly was happening. The one thing the one thing that looks like is he doesn't have his. Uh, 
If you want to call them tattoos or whatever. The markings yeah, it was just a little ambiguous. I thought I read something that one of those two is the ones that give birth to the world serpent. Because the oh, world serpent is going to be Atreus. Because he's, he's yeah, Loki. Maybe Loki. Maybe he's yeah. Loki and... Because also the world serpent... He gives birth to a snake and a wolf. Also, Ragnar- out, of, out of his uh, poops. Also, at least in, in Norse mythology, the concept yeah. of Ragnarok, it's not like it's the end of the world. It, like, the world is actually cyclical. And it, it just keeps happening mm-hmm. in Norse mythology over mm-hmm. and over snake comes out of his poops. Yeah. I just want, just because of the size and the length, I think you, I think <laughs> I think you just do one one more full game in Norse. I would say yeah. two more. Nah, because a I lot of shit can much. happen. I think I think you do, but I I think you do. I think it is a trilogy, the next one. But I think it's because you can. There are ways to at least, especially in terms of the actual mythology and how stuff, how the world happened. When you look at the actual history, an easy way to transfer probably from Norse to like to Celtic. <clears throat> Because, you know, the Celtic religion, or whatever you want to call it, came up after the Christians kind of came up. And they're like, yeah, your pagan gods are bullshit. And that's kind of where the Celts came from. So, in a lot of ways, you could transition from that after the next game into the new thing of what's happening here. So I almost just want this to be the last couple games of Kratos. Like, yeah. I like Kratos. Okay. He's cool and boy oh, and yeah. everything and all that. Boy. But it's like... In that spoiler cast, yeah. the reason, I don't know if you've heard this or read about it or anything, the reason why he says boy all the time is it because it took them too long to name Atreus. So uh, they just said boy. Uh, okay. boy. And also the whole thing of Atreus being Loki came in years <laughs> into development. And, like, and then they had to kind of rework, that really, that really rework some stuff. Way. Also, really also, because also, someone just pitched it to Corey and he's like... Fuck. We have to fucking do this, yeah. no matter what. We have to do also, this. <laughs> also, I, I saw the GameSpot thing. We're really off topic, but oh well. Uh, where they, he was talking about the the <clears throat> turtle that Freya <clears throat> lives under, and he was like, "Can you pitch me that she lives in like underneath an animal?" And and the the graphic artist like, "Okay, I'm gonna pitch you a couple ideas, and I'm gonna pitch you one idea that we can't do." And then he and then the the one that they can't, couldn't do is that he lives underneath a tortoise, and he goes, "That's you, you got to do it," and then. Charlie, the like, uh, Atreus calls the tortoise Charlie. That's from the joke from after the first E three conference. Gamespot just decided to call Atreus Charlie in their in their article, <laughs> and so they liked that joke enough that they put it in the game. That's funny. <laughs> I'm like that's that's pretty Charlie. good. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. Like fuck right. So. I love those sort of small things. I'm uh, oh yeah I'm I think I'm I'm, I'm probably. Maybe another five, six hours from planning in the game. I have to do all the Muselheim stuff, the Valkyries, and then just the collectibles, and I'm done. I've done everything in that game. I really like the game. I don't know if it's going to be in my top five in any of the I'm going to play through it again, but I don't think it's going to be in my top five. Bro, you're fucking crazy. I think there are things, there are, there are really big issues for me with the game. It, the combat gets way too repetitive to me. Really? It gets very repetitive. It, 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 it's 2018. My problem is that every combat scenario is just they have a health bar. I'm I'm emptying that health bar. That's it. There's yes. no. They could implement puzzles like every troll. They said was named. It is a part of the world. But the problem is every troll you just it's hit insane. until they die. Yes. Yeah. Like I, there I, should be I'm like a puzzle of a way to beat them. They should have some kind of character to them, like something that makes them memorable. I, to I, me, I, it's yeah. just a gigantic health bar that, like, just pops up. And I'm like, well, I gotta do this. And then certain, like, even the Draugr, I'm just like, okay, at this point, it's just a health bar. And the heavy Draugr is a Draugr with, like, two health bars. It just gets to that point where I'm just kind of getting, like, I love going through the motions of, like, throwing the axe and recalling it and, like, whizzing in the air and the thump of when you catch it. Like, playing other games now, I wish you could throw a fucking axe and recall <laughs> it's, it's fucking amazing. But then just going through that constantly, it... Because the rest of the game is very subtle and slow and it needs that rush of adrenaline, which is a combat, then some slow and some back and forth, some hot and cold. But when the combat gets to be a little like, okay, it's this again, I'm, I got to get more health bars down, it's it, it, it doesn't help the story along sometimes and it, it a lot of it feels like I'm just moving like I'm recognizing the time I'm in the game and then it's like the other issue is just the difficulty sort of thing instead it's either like make enemies smarter and you have to figure out how to beat them or just give them more health and send more of them at you which this game does it's just like 
there are a lot of cool things in this game. There are really awesome things, but just at a certain point, I was like, I just I'm tired of just taking down a health bar. Like every and then every troll is kind of the same. Like we'll come in, I'll do the same attacks. You dodge, take a couple hits, go out, <laughs> throw, recall, throw, recall. And it comes in and attacks. You dodge because they use like yeah. the same attacks and same with like the dark elf bosses. They'll come in like charge at you. you Dodge out of the way, you attack, attack, go back, throw the axe, recall it. It's just like, after a while, I, even I, you could run in and do different attacks, it just... I don't disagree with you, but I think when you, when you get to Blaze of Chaos, the game opens up a lot more. Also, like, that, the combat it is way does, more fun. It does, but then to me, it's still just it's still just the enemies. They're, they're on this, like, they're on this track of, like, it's, just, it's formulaic. I and that, that. kind of, that just, mm. like, at least with other mm. games we've been playing that we've had the privilege to play and I know Overwatch is a bad example because you're playing against other people and there's no way that's going to be formulaic but the amount of options of things that you could do and even even in a game like Ghost Recon Wildlands what people say is very repetitive it gives you a lot of freedom in this game it's just I just wanted more freedom I wanted that creative freedom like I want to take down this troll in a certain way Breath of the Wild you know like mm -hmm. Yeah, it just it just got me. I think it didn't get a lot of other people, and even yeah, then, I just don't me. hear anyone it's, talking yeah, about I just, that. I, it is a thing in the game, but I just haven't heard anyone talking about. Also, that. at least <laughs> from like I think a personal thing, I I get what you're saying. Well, you you can grind video games. Well, I, 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 that's I, one thing about you. Grinding grinding doesn't bother me as yeah. much, but then also, at least in my opinion, uh, yes, maybe the combat is very formulaic, but then I played. The other God of War games, yes. which is even worse. Yes, about so like <laughs> me sitting there and me having the reference point of this is a God of War. Like well, I've this tried is to play those better. and I couldn't really. It just the, the first three weren't really my thing. I played the the second one, a little bit of the third, one, the remastered third one. I was just the design of the combat in this game. I think <clears throat> is so much better than the ones. In oh yes, yeah, like hundred percent. But, but the enemy <clears throat> encounters are no different than in the past. So like. Like, the combat's better, but maybe the enemy encounters aren't, because what they did is they they either threw more at you, threw different combinations at you, but they did, all, like, when you're killing something, it all ended in the same way. Yeah. Every time. Like, maybe, like, again, some some variety in, like, the, the kill animations for things would be nice. And then, Just I, in, like, and like maybe, outsmarting the enemies, almost. Like, there's a little bit of, like, granted, this, this, this is one scenario of that, which is when you get into Niflheim, and you're doing the stuff in the mists... There's traps, and that's how you progress from one area to the other. So you can knock an enemy into the traps, and then mm -hmm. the traps will kill them. And yeah. You can kind of do that. And, and but the only problem with that area is that that area very much kind of exemplifies what you don't like. Where it's like, you'll pop in, and it's going to be like, all right, here's a heavy draugr and three werewolves. Go. And then you go into yeah. the next area, and it's like, here's a couple of dark elves. And maybe you'll get to an area, and there's one area where there's a Valkyrie. And I'm like, and, yeah. that, and that caught me off guard. And I'm like, oh. There's a Valkyrie yeah. in here. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hate it. It's just enough for me that it's like... It's, I, it takes you out of it. it. It's tough to say that's like game of the year <clears> to me. If it's like that much... I don't know. Maybe I just see it more than like... It, it, maybe it's just how I like to play or whatever. Or it's just it's fair enough, I, yeah. it, more apparent to me or whatever. It sticks with me more. But I just see that and I'm like... It's I don't hate it, but it's like I'm I'm positive about like maybe they can improve on it in in future games. But I just got to that point where I'm just like I just want to get through this fucking area, and it, it fucking killed me inside. Where I'm like this is fun and hacking and slashing, but then I'm like I just want to I just want to get off this fucking flying ship. Yeah, they keep crawling on. I just want to uh, fucking yep, do this. Yep. I just want to get past this fucking part. I I I, 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 I fucking know. But then there's a part where a fucking dragon pops out of nowhere on a mountain, and I'm like. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I whipped my. It's like it's also it's out. also like there's one instance where you talk about how all the trolls are the same. There's one instance where one troll in the entire game is any different. That's the one that you have to fight in Hellheim. Yeah, that's like it. Even then, his, it's, it's he, mostly he, he, his attacks on the track. He's yeah. killed him in the same way. Yeah. Same enemy. Yeah. Also, yeah. also, I think this is what I was mentioning before the one time how I I literally had him down to like you know where I could have stunned him, but he was going through that attack where he hits the ground and then he killed me. I'm like, yeah, you can't oh. you can't break through enemy like animations sometimes. Yeah. But the, the stupid thing about it, which I mean, was granted because it saved me a lot of time. When I spawned <laughs> back in, I had full health, and he was already uh, no, no HP uh, stunned. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, 
I mean, granted, I did go through the fight, and I would have won if he if he didn't have the the stun lock animation thing. But and the only thing sort of about that is that I've heard like, I mean, I'm not. It's not a major knock against him. I'm not trying to be a dickhead, but it's like, it took five years to develop the game, and you give like the same enemies consistently, like just it's like copy and paste. I'm like five years. You couldn't one troll could have been like a dickhead that I really don't like or something like that. Like. You see, like, Shadow of War, like, put that combined oh, Shadow of War and God of War. That would be awesome. At least it's something like to that degree. Yeah. True. Very true. Well, yeah, she uses. <laughs> Oof. But. At least it's not No Man's Sky. At least it's not, uh, fucking Dead Island. Mm-hmm. I mean, At least game. it's not Mass Effect Andromeda. Yeah. Uh, Andromeda, sorry. It's not Mass Effect. Andromeda's fucking. At least it's not, uh,. Aliens, Colonial Marines. I've never even played that game. Yeah. Game's fucking... Um, I've heard shit. Eef. Let's have a quick chat about Nintendo's online plans <coughs> for the Switch. At least it's not the last of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now you can play... Um, you can play multiplayer on the Switch for free. That is not going to be the case this September. Where you will have to pay $20 a year to play online. <coughs> also included in that twenty dollars is is the ability to store cloud saves finally. Which sucks that that's behind a paywall. Um, because there's no other way to back that stuff up on your Switch. And if you um, if your Switch dies, so does all your saves. Wow. Right now. Mm-hmm. All the time. Wow. So that sucks. Um, included in that though, in that twenty dollars is NES Classic Game Service is also launching as part of the service. All these games will have some sort of online play to them. So far, they've announced that the games are Soccer, Tennis, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, Balloon Fight, Ice Climbers, Dr. Mario, <coughs> The Legend of Zelda, and Super Mario Brothers 3. Okay. How do they have like online features? Maybe. I guess like Tennis, you can play against some. And well, also, also Mario, you can play with like a Luigi. Yeah. yeah, but like, well, the thing for the Legend of Zelda is going to be is that um, you can microtransactions. Like, I could be playing it and then give the controller virtually, basically, to you. Don't ask okay. me why. I mean, mm. so it's almost why like would you're you playing want together. To do that, but okay, fine. It's like they're know. kind of still living in the '90s when it's like I can't get past this part in this game. Can you do it for me? And you're like, I mean, let someone borrow the game. Like, I couldn't. I remember when I was super young, I couldn't beat the the main boss in Goldeneye. Yeah. I gave it to my neighbor and he beat it and gave it back to her. I'm like, yeah, I feel accomplished even though I didn't do shit. Also, I mean, <laughs> granted, it's it's similar to how share play works. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, I've only ever... It's basically that. It's basically... I've only ever used share play once and I think that was with you. Mm-hmm. Like in like Arkham Knight or something like that. Yeah. I think it was... Yeah, yeah, if I remember, one of us needed help with a puzzle. Yeah, I remember but, when that was announced. It was like that's gonna be the coolest thing. It's, I mean, it's, it, it is cool. It's just there's no application for yeah, it in exactly. like any game ever. Um, and then the last big piece of news to this is that Nintendo is doubling down on that fucking awful phone app for voice chat and party invites. Have and also, that? party invites are specific to the game, not not like it works on. PlayStation or Xbox to where like you can make a party and, and just be playing separate games. That's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid that they're going with that app in the first place. All they need to do is make like some sort of auxiliary port on either the Switch or on the, the, the Joy Cons and the Pro Controller, whatever. Yeah. Like, did, did, all they need did they to give do a date for when this is happening? No. All they've said is September. Smash Brothers? Question mark. That's what I think. I feel like that's that, that's how you convince people to pay twenty dollars. You'd be like, "Here's Smash." Yeah. I mean, there's not really any other game out that I feel like you could do that with. I think. Okay. Two K eighteen. The only yeah. reason why they're going to get away with this is because it's so cheap. Mostly, well, so yeah, it's cheaper. Like it's. I mean, granted, I don't play enough. In what well, now? Here, here's my other question too. Which, granted, maybe it's a dumb question. It probably is. Would that like? still hinder like if Smash Bros. does come out and I'm like I bring my Switch can we hook up what I have to so um no I, I, I wouldn't think so because that's local play okay well then, then 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 at least at this point in time I currently have no reason to even but if for some if for, for some reason you know we're like hey let's do it over the internet then I guess then you would have to have it I guess 
Fine. Um, if you wanted to play, like maybe competitively online, yeah, you'd have to do it. If right. if if you know we wanted to team up on a team, but we weren't hanging out. Okay, then fair you enough. You would need it. You know what I mean. Fair enough. Um, I think that's the only reason why they're getting away from it. Because to me, I mean, adding There's classic games to it is fine. But why just NES? Like, like Super Nintendo, N sixty four, Game Boy. There's so many things. They're gonna add do. more, and then they're gonna add more features and jack the price up. Maybe, but but to me, like the, they're so specific with what they're calling this. They're calling it Nintendo Entertainment System. Nintendo Switch Online or something like that. Like, it's very, very specific of hmm. calling out just the NES. Just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why don't you just call it, like, Nintendo Classic Games for, or something like that for Nintendo Switch? Which brings me to the other thing is that they're, they have no plans to do Virtual Console hmm. on this machine at all. At least nothing branded with the Virtual Console name. Well, then they come up with a new fucking... And then maybe they come up with this, a new name. This is going to be the Virtual Console. Oh, yeah, right probably. Here. Which is fine. I mean, I I think people wanting the Virtual Console so fucking badly is ridiculous. I think it's nice to have it, to have some of those classic games to maybe fill in some gaps, but, like, I don't know. I, don't know. You, I, I have you, my 3DS. I can play a lot You of get pissed that Nintendo, you know, makes the same thing over and over again. Mario is always the same. Zelda is always the same. Yeah, but then the you fucking games. buy the same old shit over and over and over again. Why do you think they make it the same? <sighs> That's why I sense. only bought, like, one Zelda game. Maybe two. I bought Triforce here, so it doesn't count. Yeah. That's not a Zelda <laughs> game. That's a game. Dude, Zelda's oh, in. Man, they, is should, in. they should make a sequel to that put on Switch. That'd be perfect. Quad Force Heroes. Quad Force Four player. Yeah. yeah. So three. So I mean, all, the, the mystical fourth part of the Triforce. <laughs> also, how 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 much fun are some of these old games really to play? Like, is soccer going to be a fucking soccer? Not going to play. Hey, hey man, FIFA is well, a I mean, big fucking honestly, game. <laughs> like tennis is going tennis or yeah, tennis no. Like tennis really? Mario. Super Mario Brothers, sure. So Especially that's sure. like Mario Tennis. Mario with Doctor Mario. Mario three. Yeah, that's like. That's cool. one of the best. I mean, maybe Super Mario World, but that's like one of the best Mario games ever. Yeah. Who knows? But we'll yeah. see. I, I also think maybe, people eventually. saying that they're going to talk about this um, this at E three is also insane. I why would they? Why would they waste time? Thing. Why would they waste time? Yeah. to talk about that E three. Anyways, let's talk about some some music. And you know what? Immortal, which is a black metal band. Immortal. An older one. So they lost lost their singer a while ago. They have their new count. they have their new album did coming they, out. Did they find him yet? Hey. <laughs> uh, so he started his own band, <laughs> Aboth. Fucking whatever. Guys, I'm proud of that one. And it basically sounds like Immortal. And now Immortal they found new singer and, and they're putting out like new him. stuff. No, they actually sound a little bit more aggressive, more raw black metal, but their new album, Northern Chaos Gods, comes out July 6th. They put out the title track to it. Yeah. New title track fucking rips. Not gonna lie. So there's that. If this gets you fucking rock hard, Nine Inch Nails is touring. Oh, fuck right. They're playing in like maybe six or seven cities, but in each city they're playing like at least two dates. Is that like nails, like metal nails or fingernails? Nine inch nails? Yeah, they're from like the. Well, no, 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 no. Like I, I get, I get with the, I get, I get the dumb like question. Nails, asking. which kind of like fingernails? Like, oh, like yeah, like metal. Oh, yeah, it's oh, like oh, it's oh, like. Oh, 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 I okay. always thought like fingernails, like <laughs> nine inch, like acrylic nails or something. See, I always That's thought the I other thought. nails. I thought yeah. they were bam. Bam! That's, I know that's how that works. It is. That's exactly how that works. Bam! Bam! One noise. Uh, uh, <laughs> Maybe you just like you're lining up, taking a couple practice swings. Yeah. Ding. You don't want to fuck your finger. Deftones you finger on a new album. Deftones says they have six or seven songs for a new album. Is it six or is it seven? I don't know. That's what they say. There are six or seven songs. But you're still mutating. <laughs> That's what they said. <laughs> you're mutating. So there we go. Deftones working on new music. That's cool. That's exciting to me. Um, 
tit for an autopsy is put on is they're on nuclear blast now just like every put fucking them on metal blast band. put them on blast baby did we talk about last week that that tool thing yeah we did okay yep um all right just a few few more things not a whole lot but these next next few are interesting uh obscura is putting okay. out their new album Deluvium, July 13th. They put the title track out for that, and it is baller. It is what technical death metal should be. So go listen to it. Um, D. Snyder has been working on a new solo album that's more just fucking metal, pretty much. It's called For the Love of Metal, and it comes out July 27th. So he worked with uh, Jamie Josta on this. Oh, okay. I was going to ask if he was still doing that that collaboration album. Yeah. Okay. Um, it also features contributions from Howard Jones, Mark okay. Morton from Lamb of God, Alyssa White Glues from March Enemy, okay. Joel Grind, and Nick Belmore from Toxic Holocaust, and Charlie Belmore of Kingdom of Sorrow. Oh, that's great. Cool. And, yeah, so this one's supposed to be more straight up, really hard ass metal. Fuck for right. Snyder. I'm all about this. I'm stoked, dude. I think that's going to be cool. It was crazy because Jamie Josta just. Like, D. Snyder didn't even know about it. Like, listening to the Josta show, he just literally pitched this to D. Snyder on the podcast and we were talking about it. And then that's how it started. It was it was pretty awesome cool. to listen to. Um, D. Snyder, too, like, he's just a fascinating guy to listen to. He's just so well-spoken yeah, he's like, about everything. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, we usually don't talk about these festivals when they're announced, but this one's, like, in our area. Rock Allegiance is coming back. Oh, fuck right. In Camden, New Jersey. Isn't... Isn't House of Chains playing that? No. No, they're playing... They're they playing MMR BQ or something like that? Yes. That's what I thought. Okay. They put it on this. Headlining... It did. This is the lineup for Rock Allegiance 2018. And there is one band on here that I fucking stoked and would go see, but I just don't know if I want to pay just to see them. What's your babies? No. no. I'm going to start from the bottom and go to the top. Now we're mm. here. On the bottom. There you go. Stone Broken. Never heard of him. Nope. Black Top Mojo. Okay. All right. All De- right. Devour the Day. Bad Omens. Silar. <laughs> Loose. From Ashes to New. Oh. Okay. Okay. The Fair Fever. Enough. 333. Bad Wolves. Oh. There we go. Fozzy. Oh. Okay. Of Mice and Men. Uh, okay. Guar. Little brass. Oh, okay. Insane Clown Posse. Oh, okay. What imagine, the fuck? You imagine in Guar and then Insane Clown Posse? Fucking right. magnets. And then, after this, Beartooth. Oh, okay. That's a weird fucking show. Bullet for my Valentine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Skillet. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Papa Roach. Okay. No! Okay. Limp fucking Biscuit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and headlining is Event 7 for all right, all right. I don't... Maybe I just have a different opinion. I don't hate that. I don't hate it either. There's a lot of like but, bands that would just be like, you would be interesting to see. Yeah. It doesn't make me rock hard. It doesn't. Maybe maybe seeing Bad Wolves, maybe actually seeing uh, Avenged Sevenfold this time, maybe. To me, it's Limp Bizkit, bro. Like, I'm not a huge Limp Bizkit fan, but that would be fucking fun to see Limp Bizkit. I, I would be all that Limp Bizkit. <laughs> I also I also purposefully did this after I realized I started doing it. I purposefully described every single thing you said there with the word okay, mm-hmm. just in different contexts. <laughs> <laughs> to me, yeah, there's a few bands Limpy that like B. I wouldn't mind seeing. I, 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 yeah, I, I'd go see Limpy but, B. I didn't even think they were doing anything anymore. Me either. I feel like they'd be disappointing to see live. Like they probably would be. Just be like, oh, that's and they would probably would be, but at this point, I'd be just like, eh, why not? Fuck it. Maybe yeah. Fred Durst. No, he can't. Never mind. I'm not even going to entertain that thought. <laughs> Last story, and I find this story to be completely insane. Insane, class. Um, insane in the membrane. So, insane in the there was two. There was some guys in a in a in a, a tour for Colorado State University seeing the campus. Oh, I heard about college. that. You hear about this? I, hear about about this. This? I, I might have, but I, I, it's not coming to me. <clears throat> two Native American brothers were pulled from the campus. From a campus tour of Colorado State University last week, after the mother of another prospective student called 911 because the pair were wearing black clothing that made her nervous. 
He fucking They were detained by the police while the college continued while the college tour continued without them. Um, once the police confirmed that the brothers were indeed part of the tour, they were allowed to rejoin the group. By that time, the tour had moved on. Um, basically, one had a cattle decapitation shirt on, another one had an arch spire shirt on. Um, the woman who called 911 told them that the boys' shirts had weird symbolism or wording on it. She said, if it's nothing, I'm sorry, but it actually made me like sick, and I've never felt like that. I'm a pussy. That's all I have um, Colorado State University President Tony Frank said the school was trying to reach out to the brothers in their family, but had been unsuccessful. The university wants to reimburse their pair for any travel expenses. Um, the, the university actually somewhat sided with them. The incident is sad and frustrating from nearly every angle, particularly the experience of the two students who were here to see if this was a good fit for them as an institution. <laughs> yeah, for, hey, good fucking luck with that now. On the bright side, cattle decapitation said the brothers get get free guest list spots for our shows for life. Yeah, all right. <laughs> there you go. That's fucking fucked hell. up, man. That's but, really fucked up. I, it's I, just I, something I'm so... Uh, whatever. I mean, this is the only time I'm going to get it. I'm so tired, which granted... I'm, I'm, I, I say I'm tired of hearing about stories like this. I can't imagine fucking living through it. You know what yeah. I mean? I can't. I'm when I, you know, I can't possibly understand. But it's just like it's also just from the weird thing if it's a fucking t-shirt. Yeah. I don't know. Like, why don't you just ask what it is on your shirt? Well, yeah. Like, and then they that? would go, "It's a band." It's it's because yeah. it's the shirt. It's probably the logos and everything. It's the logos, but on. also... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a race thing. Sometimes, um, <laughs> sometimes, you know, metal shirts can really invoke something in somebody. Oh, it's, yeah. It's like, <clears throat> what is that? That dude's head's getting chopped off. What the hell? Or there's that um, one... But to it, call 911 about that's just is it, absurd. Is it, isn't there that one cattle decapitation shirt that's like the monkey or the dude pulling like his skin off and it's like a... It's like a chimp or something underneath it. The, or is it the, it's the album cover, isn't it? It's the album cover, yeah. isn't it? For one mm-hmm. of their albums? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess when I'm like, yeah. Pretty that's sure. It. And I'm like, oh, sure, I can get why, you know, somebody might not like that. But it's also just like people can wear whatever shirts they want. Yeah. Like, it's not, they don't have like the, they don't have like something like, you know, outwardly offensive on their shirt. So mm-hmm. it's fine. That's, that's offensive. That's offensive. W-I-X-Q. Yeah. It yeah. makes me feel like sick. WYXQ. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going to call 911 right now. Yeah. Right there. What's that? Do it. Yeah. Is that a sword? That's yeah. a weapon. Yeah. It's a weapon. Call 911. <laughs> what, what There's there? a weapon on his shirt. One of those symbols, Satan. It very well could be. It's yeah. black metal, so probably. Also, yeah. I, I listened to that album. Yeah. The most recent one for the first time. Incredible. Yeah, it's very good. I, I yeah. really loved it. I mean, <laughs> talk about some incredible atmosphere oh, yeah, throughout yeah. the whole thing. It, it also, it threw me <clears throat> off guard, like the opening track yeah, when her voice comes one. in. Yeah. yeah, well, it threw me off because she starts <laughs> off she's like, ah! yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> All right. It's, it, it's good, though. I, I, mean, I enjoyed it. For sure. New music. Abram, or no, Abraham with Look, Here Comes the Dark. Ooh. <laughs> Post metal. Post metal. Oh, Bad wolves with disobey. What's in your head? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's more than that song on that album. I need to listen to that album. It's good. I mean, it's I like that song. a lot of stuff. I like it, that song. It, yeah, it's a good cover for sure. Uh, it has um, the guitarist of God Forbid. Oh, I can't um, count. Some Divine Heresy members as well. Um, I also, I mean, I think these guys could potentially be a very big band because they, one, Five Finger Death Punch is basically bringing them all around the fucking world opening for them. Cool. That's, I mean, that's, a, that's, that's a huge that, opportunity. That, that, that's cool. For two, them. they have a huge marketing push for their label. Um, I mean, yeah, that's on three. Just, literally, I played, I, I listened to 105.7. I think I literally heard it about three times in one yeah. hour. Three, that cover of Zombie's huge. It's huge. Four. They have a lot of a lot of songs on there that can go either way of like 
I like this because it's it's metal and it's heavy and it's aggressive, but then also they have some of those rock jams and none of it feels out of place or forced, which I really like. I mean, it, it's a it's a solid album for sure. What the hell are you doing, bro? You're like ripping yourself up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got hair that's longer than you. It's fucking bothering me. I got you. I got uh, you. The body with I haven't fought against it, but I can't any longer. The body. Uh, progressive. Experimental. <laughs> Bill Cosby. Church with light will consume us all. White will consume us all. Light. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I heard white too. Really? I heard white will consume yeah. us all. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Donald West Trump Bo- Westboro yeah. Baptist Church battle. Yeah, light. Uh, doom. Doom. Child bite with burnt offerings. <laughs> um, burnt offerings. I don't, I don't fucking know. Hardcore. Yeah, yeah, um, that makes sense. Uh, this is apparently like a rarities thing. Uh, seven dust. With all I see is oh, war. Oh fuck right. Rock. Hard, hard rock. Yeah, they're a band that kind of goes back and forth. I think. Uh, I I listen to this. There's some, honestly, for a what you would call a rock band. There is some heavy fucking shit on here. Yeah. I was surprised. I um, saw that mayhem that one year. Yeah. No, was it was pretty good. Or was it a? Uh, I thought it was a. Uh, they were an uproar. the other one. Uproar. Yeah. It was an uproar. I don't know. Maybe it was uproar. Yeah, because that, that was the first. First. Major right, festival yeah, I ever went to. Yeah. Skinless with Savagery. Death metal? Yeah. yeah. Brutal death metal. Look at that art, man. Oh, that yeah. That dude's getting his face ripped off. Man. That, that makes me feel like sick. <laughs> yeah. It makes me feel like sick. I've never felt like that before. <laughs> Aborted fetus with the ancient spirits of decay. Is that death metal? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, That's death metal. There's no way. Yeah. Death whalers with I tread on your grave. Death metal? Stone, Again? Stoner. Stoner, <clears throat> okay. Biker metal. God damn it. This page keeps reloading itself. It's really annoying. Um, orgy with army to your party. Psychedelic hair? Like an 80s metal rock? In, hair rock metal in, glam? Industrial. Well, I thought caught it. Noise picker. With peace off, <laughs> noise pick. <laughs> you sure it's noise picker, not nose picker? I, I, I think. I think that's. Picker. I think that. It, well, what's the album I fucking name? Like that. Peace off. Peace off. That's, that's gotta be. That's gotta be hard rock, right? Rock slash noise. Yeah, I was gonna peace say it's gotta be like weird. rock. Uh, old man wizard with blame it on the sorcery. It's <laughs> <That's> pretty awesome. <laughs> Heavy metal. Progressive hard rock. Progressive hard. All right, fine. And the last one that's with a- within the giant's reach within the beginning. Within the Giant's Progressive. Reach, um, the Nightstand, Nightstand mm-hmm. Metal, it's within his reach, the top, top Shelf Metal, because he's a giant, it's yeah. within his reach. Groove Metal. I should have went Ooh. Top Shelf first. Fuck. I fucked it up. Tits. Tits. Lots of tits. <laughs> and ass. It's just in. <laughs> Bethesda has released a few additional images teasing of what appears to be the official Rage to reveal on May 14th. Okay. The latest teaser includes a taxi cab covered in pink markings, including the number 14 in the middle of the hand, a mouth with 5 and 14 etched in the pink on the teeth, and the, one in the stink. <laughs> and a guy with 514 written in pink on his finger. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. But that's the yeah. They're weird sometimes. They're teasing some weird shit. I'm all about it. I guess that's two days from now. It is. Monday. 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 Wait, all right. See you later, alligator. Bye. <laughs>